Well, hi there. We've got another edition of Trump's Laundry. Part two. This is uh, <clears throat> a brief, will be a brief gloss of Trump Ocean Club, Panama. Just going to keep it simple today. According to Arthur Middlemiss, former head of J.P. Morgan's anti-corruption program, anyone doing business in the country of Panama needs to be very aware of their business partners. Failure to do so can put one at risk of criminal liability. That would be because Panama is a country known for a place to put your money to get it away from uh, taxes and uh, well, it's it's got an interesting history. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Trump Ocean Club in Panama was Trump's first endeavor in international licensing of his name. This project was also supposed to be a starter for Ivanka to get her into real estate. Trump lent his name, but was under no direct legal obligation to do due diligence on the people involved. Plausible deniability. Nice. Ivanka selected a former car salesman, Alexandre Ventura Nogueira, who henceforth shall be called Mr. Ventura, to sell the condos. And Mr. Ventura did. He sold them to some interesting people. According to the Reuters article, which will be linked in the description, Mr. Ventura did not consider it his job to find out where the money that they were paying for the condos was sourced from. Quoting from the Reuters article, Ventura said, I didn't know the money was coming from anything illegal. As long as they were doing wire transfers and not cash, I wasn't worried about the source of it. According to the Guardian article, again, linked in the description, Ventura said he sold seven to ten units to a Mr. David Murcia Guzman, who was later convicted by U.S. federal court of laundering money for drug cartels, including laundering it through real estate. From the Guardian article, which is quoting the Global Rit Witness Report, also linked in the description, what is clear is that proceeds from Colombian cartels' narcotics trafficking were laundered through the club Trump Ocean Club, and Donald Trump was one of the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ventura sold about half the units to Russian-speaking brokers, some of whom had criminal allegations or records. Many buyers, about half, can't even be identified because they bought through shell companies. Mr. Ventura helped to set up some of those shell companies at a thousand dollars a pop. Mauricio Ceballos, a former Panamanian financial crimes prosecutor, stated that the property, that being Trump Ocean Club, was a vehicle for money laundering. So here we have the Donald and Ivanka setting things up with convenient deniability. Profit from money laundering customers, but, le but a legitimate way to say that they don't realize that this was, these were customers laundering their money. 
That's very interesting. Apparently, Ventura sold some of the condominiums twice. He claims this was a clerical error. People arrived on opening day and had fistfights over who owned the condos. Considering they were going for something like 350k a pop, I can see why there might be some... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. Ventura Noguera is, according to the Reuters article, under investigation for international money laundering in Brazil, which is where he fled to when he jumped bail in Panama for financial crimes. He did meet with the Reuters reporter at an undisclosed location because, uh, yeah. And interestingly enough, even though many investors lost their shirts in Trump Club Panama, Trump himself, hello cat, ow! Trump himself was insured a profit of 30 to $50 million. And that will do it for today. Next up on our plate, uh, we shall find another one of his properties to look into. Perhaps the golf course of the disappearing money. Or perhaps uh, Trump Soho, where lots of mafiosi moved in. Tune in next time as we go through and find out what next will end up in Trump's washing machine. Have a good day, wash your hands, and take care.